Okay, let's get into it. So this video is intended for people who have very little MacBook experience. You may have been a lifelong Windows user. You might be used to Windows products. This is for people who are brand new. So let's get into this video. But before we start, I just want to let you know that I will be creating a few more videos on the Mac and some useful apps that I use to make my experience with the Mac run that much better. But please stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Consider giving me a like on this video and enjoy this video. If you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to leave a question in the comment section below. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to start you off with is the Finder. When you open up the Finder, that is where you're gonna find all your documents. That's where files are saved to your hard drive or your iCloud drive. And this demonstration right here, I'm not signed in under my Apple ID, but when you set up your uh, Mac, you will sign into your Apple ID and that is where you're going to be able to find files that are maybe stored on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, that is one of the beauties, beauty parts of using a Mac is it, how it uh, works with other Apple products. So if you have an Apple phone, an iPhone, it's going to work amazingly because pictures sync through the computer and the iPad and the iPhone. So it's just great. So this is where your finder is. This is where you're gonna find all of your photos and files and those sort of things. This down here is your dock. So that is kind of where your main uh, programs will be. Uh, you can adjust that what you want down here. You can also change the look of it by doing a two finger click or a right click and going into dock preferences. And what will happen there is you can change the size of it. You can make it big, small. You can change the magnification part of it. Uh, you can minimize it uh, using a genie effect or a scale effect. Um, so I would just play around with that, but with the magnification part, uh, if you go Ooh. to uh, automatically or hide or show, uh, what will happen is it'll just go down like that. If you take that off, it'll always stay there. Um, magnification part, and then see how, let me just put that up a little bit, and then see how it magnifies what you're looking at. And then one other suggestion I would make is I would go through, after you've used it for a little bit, go through the dock here and only use the apps that you are using. So for example, I don't use the contacts app ever. So you just click, you click on it, you hold it out and it'll just go to remove and away it goes. So I would just go through and choose the, the apps that you use the most. The next thing I want to uh, show you is the App Store. That is where you're going to install the app. So if you're an iPhone user, you will know that it's just like that. It's the exact same. You go here, you can install your software, and I will be creating another video of uh, most, the most used apps or the apps that I use the most on uh, the Mac, specifically for the Mac, that just make the, the Mac run more smoothly. Okay, this is an, a quick tip, just something that I would suggest you do right off the hop. For me, it's just something that I've been used to. You can try using it without it, but for me, I like doing this. It's a three finger click and drag option. So what you need to do is you're gonna go to the little Apple icon here. You're gonna go to system preferences. You are going to go to accessibility. You're gonna go and find pointer control. Then go to trackpad options and you're going to go to enable dragging with three finger drag. Now what this allows you to do is just using three fingers on the trackpad without pushing down or clicking. You can just drag, click and drag, well just hold on to it with three fingers and you can drag and move things all around. To me it just makes things a lot easier. Uh, and I just tried using this without it set up and I'm just so used to it. So it's something that I guess you might need to get used to. But for me, I personally really like it and I would recommend it.
Okay, the next uh, thing I want to draw your attention to is down here, and this is called the launch pad. And it's nothing crazy. It's just a spot where you can find all of your installed apps. That's where they go. It's kind of like your app drawer uh, on your phone. Um, that is where all of your applications are stored. And then the next thing is called Spotlight. Spotlight can be summoned in a variety of ways. So if you hold down Command and Space, that will bring up Spotlight. Spotlight is just a search uh, tool to locate anything on your Mac, whether it's a file, whether it's a web search, uh, something on a map, restaurants, uh, an app that you're searching for on the App Store, a, a song. Um, so let's uh, do a search for Imagine by John Legend. And there it is right there, a uh, song on iTunes Store. So if you click that, that will open up your Apple Music account. So if you have an Apple Music account, you could listen to it that way. Um, so if you also did like when was John Lennon born? You, there it is right there, October 9th, 1940. It's kind of like a, a, a text version of Siri, but you can also set up Siri to use Siri by going right here. Uh, so there it is. Okay, so if you look right up here, this is your menu bar. And just looking right from the right to the left, this is Siri. So if you want to... Uh, Summon Siri, you can. You can also enable it so you can just say the magic words to summon it. Uh, this is your control center right here. So this, you can go through your Wi-Fi networks, your Bluetooth, AirDrop on and off, how bright your display is, sound, what might be playing in the background, your do not disturb. There's also a spot on your keyboard at the top that will enable you to turn that on and off. Uh, keyboard brightness, and then just some screen mirroring if you have an Apple TV. There's your spotlight as well, uh, your Wi-Fi, uh, your battery life telling you what's being used using significant energy. So right now, Audacity, which is the voiceover, uh, yet again, what's playing, and then right now, the screen recording. So that is your menu bar right there. Uh, going on to the next thing, uh, is your notification center. So if you just swipe a right side of the trackpad, that will bring up your notification bar. Uh, so anything like text messages, reminders, emails, those sort of things, those will pop up just above here. But this is your default widget. Uh, you can go into edit widgets and look at some of the new widgets there. This is new for this year. So you can add different widgets, just like on the iPhone. Um, that's useful for uh, just customizing things that you want to just have a glance at, look at. Uh, it's pretty neat. The next is your system preferences, which is pretty much all of your different preferences for how you want your Mac set up. So your screensaver, your dock and menu bar, mission control, uh, Siri, Spotlight, the language that you're using, your notifications, so what you want to show up when you get a notification. Your internet accounts are all of your email accounts that you may have on your Mac. Touch ID is, is if you have a Touch ID on your Mac for this model, you do. Um, screen time, security and privacy, so your firewall, of those things. Um, sound, so if you have headphones plugged in or you have a microphone, Bluetooth, uh, your Wi-Fi network, any software updates, if you're configuring your display, keyboard, trackpad. So if you, one thing I suggest you do if you are a new Mac user is go into the trackpad settings and get familiar with these different trackpad settings. You can customize it to however you want. But once you get used to the different gestures of the trackpad, it's very useful. So if you just go look over top of it, it'll show you exact, give an exact uh, example of what it'll look like. Um, there's lots of different gestures. So for example, four finger swipe will, um, it should, so let me just throw in another desk, uh, another desktop there. 
So if I open up a few windows and I swipe up, uh, you should be able to, one second. Uh, so say we have maps and I swipe up, I can click and drag that and move it to desktop too. Um, but if I say four finger swipe to the left, it'll go over to desktop one, four finger swipe desktop two, three, so on and so forth. Uh, four finger swipe up will take you to this view. Um, so it's the gestures are very useful and I would uh, familiarize yourself with the different gestures and customize it the way you want. Of course, if you don't like the trackpad, then you can also plug in a, a mouse but I am a big fan of the trackpad because of the multiple gestures that you can use. Okay, so uh, that is a very, very quick overview of the different parts of a Mac. Honestly, for me, it just required some playing around with it, getting used to it. Uh, don't be shy of Googling something and there are answers for everything. So. For example, the alt control delete, there is an alt control delete on a Mac and that is for a force quit. Uh, so one way you can do it is just clicking the little Apple button here and going to force quit and see how it shows you these three little logos here. So that's option command and the escape button and that will bring up force quit. That's just like alt control delete. So if you click that, you see right here, the programs come up and to just to quit out of those programs you just select the one you want so say if something's frozen it'll just say not responding and it'll quit right out of it but honestly guys i uh, i would just google is your best friend play around there's tons of great videos on youtube i just wanted to give a brief overview of the mac uh, especially with this new operating system uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the section below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And we will see you in the next video.